Okay, we took a little break. And now we're ready to do another Walter the Farting Dog Ban from the Beach. Walter the Farting Dog Ban from the Beach. He got banned from the beach? Oh, that's... Ooh, that troublemaker. <laughs> that troublemaker. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Krabby were having a ton of fun. There was sand and sea and sunshine every day. There was swimming and snorkeling and parasailing and lots of staff to boss around. You there, called Mrs. Krabby to the pool attendant. Get that leaf out of the water. And bring us some fresh towels, said Mr. Krabby. Make it snappy. If only that dog weren't ruining my view, said Mrs. Krabby. There's also other Walter the Farting Dogs that we haven't done other than this one and the other ones. Yep. Like this one on the back. Mm-hmm. Walter the Farting Dog goes on a cruise. And Walt. Yep. Trouble at yard sale. Walter the Farting Dog, trouble at the yard sale. And this one is banned from the beach. The dog that Mrs. Krabby was talking about was Walter. Walter was digging happily in the sand. You never know where an old bone might be hiding. He detected something under the sand and dug more frantically. Treasure, a bone, and it's a big one. He strained to tug it free and let out an enormous fart. The umbrella that was shading Mr. and Mrs. Krabby was blown into the sea. They watched aghast as it was carried away by the undertow. At that moment, father and mother arrived with Betty and Billy. Mr. Krabby stomped over to Father. Is this your dog? Yes, admitted Father, that's our Walter. He shouldn't be allowed on the beach, shouted Mr. Krabby. He blew away our umbrella. It couldn't have been Walter. It was probably the sea breeze. The sea breeze doesn't smell like that, said Mrs. Krabby. evening, Mother said, wouldn't it be wonderful if we had our own little vacation home right on the beach? We can't afford it, said Father, who'd just bought himself a new set of golf clubs. Walter eats us out of house and home, Water, Walter farted guiltily. There was a knock on the door. It was the manager of the resort. We've been getting complaints about that dog of yours. We can't allow him on the beach. I didn't see any rule against dogs in your brochure, said Father. It's a new rule, and it starts today. The manager stomped off. Sorry, Walter, said Father. You're banned from the beach. Walter farted sadly. Never mind, Walter, said Billy. Let's go for a walk in the village. Just stay away from the beach, warned Mother. In the quaint little village, lights twinkled in the trees. Everyone was enjoying the gentle breeze and the sweet smells of the tropical night. Walter was enjoying himself too. Travel broadens a dog's mind, he thought, farting philosophically. The Krabbies were sitting nearby at a sidewalk cafe, complaining about their key lime pie. Mrs. Krabby counted the problems on her fingers. It's not big enough, it's not green enough, it's not sweet enough. Or maybe it's too sweet, said Mr. Krabby, smacking his lips. A pelican flapped its wings at Walter, and Walter farted in alarm. The power of Walter's fart blew the meringue off Mr. Krabby's pie. It landed in his face and made an awful mess. The Krabbies glared at Walter. That dog is ruining our vacation. Next morning, Father got a phone call from the chief of police. I've had serious complaints about your dog, said the chief. I'm afraid we can't allow him on our streets. Father hung up. 
Sorry, Walter. You're banned from the village. But where can Walter go now? asked Billy. He's grounded, said Father. He stays inside. That's not a very nice vacation for Walter, said Betty. Walter farted. Need I say more? asked Father. When everyone went out to have fun, Walter stayed inside with his nose pressed against the window. And poor cat also. Ah, yeah, poor cat also. But it might not want to go in the water because it's a little scaredy cat. Right. Cats don't often like the water, do they? My cat does. Does it? Cool. Do you have a cat? If you have a cat, let us know your cat's name in the comments. What's your cat's name, Johnny? Kitty Witty. Kitty Witty. If you have a dog, let us know your dog's name in the comments. Like Walter. Like Walter. And if your dog farts, let us know. We want to know. Well, thought Walter stuck inside. I'll just have to make the best of it. He sniffed around for something to eat and found a sack of strange looking top tropical fruit. The label said, cook thoroughly. Do not eat raw. Since Walter couldn't read, he ate it anyway. Then he went to snooze in the sunshine pouring through the window. There's Walter eating the tropical fruit. That, it must be cooked. It must have to be cooked, but it didn't be cooked. Oh no. <laughs> exactly. Oh no. Something terrible is going to happen. Yeah. That, Keep watching the video to find out. Yeah. You're going to find out pretty soon here. And please leave a like on my videos and Marie's. Yes. It, it really helps us. It does help us. Thank Get you. Get more motivated. And once we start getting more subscribers, likes, and and watchers on our video, then we'll start making money. And that'll be good. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Thank you. And Marie just likes to do it for funness. Yeah, I do. It's fun for me to be with you and read with you. Okay, here we go. We're about to find out what's happening with Walter and his farts. Betty and Billy were building a sandcastle on the beach. Look, said Betty, pointing out to sea. How did that island get there? It wasn't there before. It must have been underwater, said Billy. Now that the tide is out, we can get there. Let's go. They waded through the shallow water to explore the mysterious island. My dad's alarm is going off. I hear that too. It's very quiet and soft for you probably. Yeah. This is the sort of place where you find buried treasure, said Billy, beginning to dig. Suddenly something shiny glittered in the sunlight. I knew it, yelled Billy, holding up a nickel. We're rich, yelled Betty. Mr. Krabby sat under his new beach umbrella. Those nasty children seem to have found something. The Krabbies waded out to the little island. Let me help you, said Mr. Krabby, pushing Billy aside. Mr. Krabby found a rusty old key and waved it triumphantly. I have a feeling that this will unlock something very important, he said. Sure enough, 10 minutes later, he dug up a door and the key fit perfectly. Maybe we'll find a whole vacation house, said Betty. Though they dug for hours, they didn't find anything else, and they didn't notice that their island was shrinking. The tide was rising fast, and the waves began to lap at their feet. Betty looked up and gasped. How did the beach get so far away? It's the tide, cried Billy. We're marooned. Out of my way, shouted Mr. Krabby, and leaped onto the water. Mrs. Krabby dove in after him, followed by Betty and Billy. They swam as hard as they could, but the undertow was too strong. The current swirled them around and dumped them back on their shrinking little island. Our only hope is to build a raft, said Mr. Krabby. <laughs> Walter the farting dog and Johnny the hungry book eater. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be cooked first. Oh, no. <laughs> Walter woke up from his nap with a bad feeling. Betty and Billy must be in trouble. 
Walter's stomach was rumbling like a volcano from the tropical fruit that should have been thoroughly cooked, but he ignored it and he raced to the screen door. Locked. He stepped back and charged, bursting through the screen and leaving a Walter-shaped hole in the door. Oh no, the cat must get out, but it doesn't because it decides not to. Ah, yeah, it looks like the cat just decided to look through the hole. <laughs> Walter ran to the beach and saw four figures in the distance with the water rising around them. Mr. and Mrs. Krabby were launching their raft. Billy was trying to help Betty. All Walter could see of Betty was her little head above the surface and her arms waving frantically. Walter plunged into the surf. Shooting pains twisted him and twisted him around and flung him back onto the beach. Was it a cramp from swimming too soon after eating? No, it was the tropical fruit that should have been thoroughly cooked. Walter, save us, cried Billy. <laughs> Marie's had this book for years. Yeah, actually this one I borrowed. Oh, she's a friend of mine, yeah, but the other ones I have had for years, yes. Walter struggled to rise, but the gases produced by the tropical fruit that should have been thoroughly cooked chose this moment to erupt with terrible force. The tropical fruit fart produced a boom that was heard along the coast for miles. Coconuts blew off of the trees, and the crabbies, clutching their new umbrella, were blown all the way to the Sandwich Islands. The waves parted around the little island where Betty and Billy were stranded. Layer upon layer of sand and shells were pushed aside, leaving a pathway across the ocean floor. Oh, there might be treasure. Yeah. And a hungry Johnny. <laughs> spooks. Yes. Obviously. Spooks. Treasure and a hungry Johnny spooks. Betty and Billy ran toward shore. Halfway there, Billy tripped on something jutting from the ocean floor. Walter oh. raced out to help him. It's a treasure, tr treasure chest, cried Billy. Bones, thought Walter, and grabbed a handle in his teeth. Ooh, they might be able to buy the new vacation house now. You think so? Soft. Bones, thought Walter, and grabbed a handle in his teeth. He dragged the chest to the beach. Betty and Billy pried it open. Walter was disappointed to see that it only contained gold and jewels. No bones. With the money from the treasure, mother and father bought the vacation home of their dreams. You were right. Oh. <laughs> now they're going to go scuba diving with Walter the farting dog. Yes. There was sunshine every day. There was golf and snorkeling and parasailing on the gentle sea breezes. Experts said it was the most important treasure uncovered in a century. But Betty and Billy disagreed. Walter, they said, you're the greatest treasure of all. And there they are with their new beach home. That is a duster, which we will look at later after we finish the book. Okay. And that's it. Then the final page shows the Krabbies working on Sandwich Islands. Now they're the staff and other people might be crabby to them. Thank you everybody for joining us for a book or two with you. We hope you enjoyed the Walter the Farting Dog series that we have. There are more Walter the Farting Dog books. You can find them at the library. You can find them at bookstores, and you can look at bookstores online, and sometimes I find... And the thing to turn off we, our video is this little knob. We just press iOS, Yeah, and then... It's a little go. remote control, and when Johnny pushes it in a few minutes, it'll turn off the video. We could all count.